I'm very excited to create this cat falling down the staircase together with you. First, we need to create many costumes for the cat, for the staircase, and we need to create some suns. So for my cat, the first two costumes to show that the cat is running. The next three costumes show that cat is start to falling down. And the next six costumes are different funny pictures of the cat to show that it's really miserable if it falls down the stairs. And the last view is show that the cat landed. For the staircase, I only have three costumes, the starting, the middle, at the end of the staircase. Now for the cat, we also need to have many sounds. So the sound to show that the cat walking towards the edge of the staircase is going to fall, it's falling down, so there are different sounds that we are going to use. Now, let's focus on how to write the code. There are four stages of the animation. The start, the cat starts to fall, the cat is falling, and the cat dies. Let's start with the first part. When green flag clicked, first we need to make sure the cat is using costume 1. It starts from the left side of the screen. So let's try minus 240. Okay, maybe Y a little bit higher. Okay, Y is 12. I want to make sure it points in the direction 90. And we're going to play a sound. I wonder what happens. After that, we want the cat to move to the right until it reaches the edge of the staircase. So we're going to do repeat until x position is greater than this value. This is minus 98. We can use minus 100. x position is greater than minus 100. So we want the cat to move until it reaches this location. How do we make the cat move? Every time we're going to move 10 steps, we're going to switch to costume. Currently we are using costume 1, so we're going to switch to costume 2. And we're going to wait for 0.3 seconds. Now duplicate this code. We'll move another 10 steps, but this time we'll switch back to costume 1. So put this inside the loop. I'll move until I reach this place. Now because this is a repeat until, so every time when the cat reaches the edge, the x position is a different value, but we want to use the same value. So I'll do set x to minus 90. Now the cat is at the edge, we are going to the next step, which is starting to fall. So I'll broadcast, broadcast, fall. Now we're going to stage two, start to fall. When I receive fall, first I'm going to play the sound. Ah, the cat starts to screaming. Ah. Then we need to change the costumes. So I will switch costume to costume 3. I'll wait for 0 0.02 seconds. And we need to duplicate this. So duplicate, duplicate again. We have three copies. So I'll switch to costume 3, costume 4, and costume 5. Then we need to go to stage 3. So I'll broadcast, I'll broadcast a new message called falling. Now we are going to stage 3, the cat is falling. When I receive falling, we want to play the sound. So play sound, start sound, falling. Let's try this. Sounds okay, but if you want the sound to be even louder, you can duplicate this. Okay, I'm probably going to have 6 of them. Besides the sound, we also we also want the cat to like bouncing on the stairs. So go to when I receive falling. I'm going to do a forever. Go to now this one you need to tag test. I'll make x to be pick a random number from minus thirty to thirty. And make a Y to pick a random number from 2 to 22. We can change the position later to make sure that it looks like the cat is bouncing on the stairs. The cat also needs to change to different costumes. 
So when I receive falling, I'll do forever. Wait for 0 0.01 seconds. I'll switch costume to, let's pick a random costume. Pick a random from 6 to 13. After a while, the cat is going to reach the end of the staircase and die. So you need to test the sound here. See how long the sound takes. For me, it's about 4 seconds. So I will do when I receive falling. I'll wait for 4 seconds. Then I'll broadcast die. Now we are going to stage 4 is when the cat dies. When I receive die. First thing I need to stop all other scripts. So I'll do stop other scripts in the sprite. I want to make sure that the cat landed on the floor. So you need to test the y value for cat. I have tested my y value is going to be minus 38. And we need to change to different costumes. So I'll switch costume to costume 20. Then I'm going to wait for one second. I'll switch costume to costume 21. And I'm going to play a die sound. So start the sound, die. Wait for another one second. Then I'm going to switch back to costume 20. So costume 20 is the cat trying to get up. I'm going to wait for another one second. Then I'm going to switch to costume to 22. Okay, and the last step I want to is to play the die sound until it is done. Okay, so that's all for the cat. Now we're going to look at the code for the staircase. When green flag clicked, we want to make sure that we are using costume one, which is the starting of the staircase. So we're going to change costume to costume one. We also want to make sure that the staircase is at the back layer. So the cat is at the front layer. So go to back layer. The other thing is about the location of the staircase. We must make sure that the cat is standing on the staircase, which is what is showing here. So we will do go to, it's already minus 120 and zero. So the cat is standing on the staircase. And when the cat starts to falling down, we want the staircase to bounce a little bit. So we will do, when I receive fall, I will switch costume to costume 2. Every time I'll go back to this starting location, but at the same time, I also slide a little bit. I'll slide 0 0.1 second. X will be 100, Y will be minus 6 die. So you can play with the numbers, see which number looks better. And when the cat dies, when I receive die, first we need to stop the bouncing of the staircase. So we will stop other script in this sprite and we will change our costume to costume 3. But we also need to make sure that the cat is landing on the floor. So we need to change the location. We will go to Again, you can play with the numbers, see which number works for you. For me, it's minus 40 and zero. So now we can test the whole animation. I wonder what happens if I go to the stairs. Ah! Okay, so that's how we did the animation. Have fun!